Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry I haven't posted a video in a very long time. I was just really busy with work. I had meetings back to back that I wasn't feeling real well. And it's just... <coughs> what I just said was a bunch of lies. I'm actually having a really good summer, relaxed one. I spent three weeks on holiday with my family and after I came back, I didn't really feel like making a video. My name is Vita Yanis. I'm a life coach, holistic therapist, and today I wanted to talk about why little innocent lies that everyone uses every single day. Dishonesty is one of the most common coping mechanisms that we use to protect ourselves, our feelings from being hurt, feeling ashamed and vulnerable. What inspired me to make this video was actually an article that I found in Balance magazine, which I'm going to link down below in the description box, and I highly recommend to have a look because there's really interesting research and information. And in that article, you can also take a test and find out how honest or dishonest you are. So see down below. And uh, in the article, there's a top 10 list of most common lies that we say. And there are two different lists for men and women. And to be honest, those lists, they blew me away. And I'm just gonna read a few of them for you to get the idea. So. Here are the lies. Um, sorry, I missed your call. Um, I have a headache. I didn't get your text. I'm on my way. I did have that much to drink. It's not you, it's me. I'm not angry with you. And finally, thank you. I love my haircut. People lie for various individual reasons and the level of their dishonesty is also different. But what caught my eye was that the most common lies might seem very small and insignificant. We say all of those things without even thinking about it. And even though they seem innocent, under the surface, there's a danger that I wanted to bring your attention to. When we lie about the little things, lying becomes unconscious. We never ever pause and consider what we actually think and how we truly feel. So we get into this habit of rejecting and hurting ourselves. Many studies have shown that lying isn't easy emotionally. We feel discomfort, unpleasantness, and even physical pain. Though with all the tools that we have today, like social media, emails, phones, lying is easier than ever because we don't have to face the person and have that real connection. So we don't feel that guilty. All those tools, they provide a sense of anonymity. They build a distance, which ultimately means less pain. In a study published in Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, experts claim that frequent liars tend to be manipulative and overly obsessed about what kind of impression they make on others. In other words, by lying, we try to put a mask on and pretend to be better than we actually are. So here's a paradox. We lie because we want others to like us, yet by lying, we build a wall and distance between us. We want them to like our image and not the real person. I believe that it's crucially important to stop denying the consequences of lying. Reality doesn't go away just because you ignore it. In fact, your life will get more and more chaotic if you're gonna pretend that only half of the truth is real. The next time you're about to lie, I strongly recommend to ask yourself these following questions. One, what is my motivation for the dishonesty? Two, am I lying to another person only or myself as well? Three, how do I feel when someone who is really important to me lies? And three, how would I feel in this exact the same situation, but reverse, if that person would do it to me? Connection, understanding, care, love. Isn't that what we all want? Isn't that the purpose of life? Let your honesty be the light that guides you there. Intimacy, the word itself means into me, see. Now I know you're not gonna be transparent with everyone, and completely honest all the time. Like if your boss asks, how was your weekend? You're not gonna say, do you know what? It was pretty shitty. I was fighting with my partner the whole time. Most likely you're gonna politely reply and say it was okay, thank you. And that's fine. 
But what if you would start building different kind of relationships based on honesty and truth with people that you actually love and care about? And more importantly, what if you would start being honest, not only for others, but for yourself? What if you would say the truth about those little teeny tiny things that seem that they don't matter? What if you would say, I didn't answer the phone because I didn't feel like it. I just wanted to be quiet by myself. Or my battery didn't die and I did receive your text, but I was so caught up in the moment. I was so excited about something and I didn't need any distractions. Or yes, this dress is out of a budget, but I really love it and it brings me so much joy. I want to keep it. Or what if we would say, I had, a, had I think I had too much to drink. Again, I might have a problem. Or, I really, really care about you. What if? I'll leave you hanging with this question. Thanks for watching. Love. Blessings.